Hi. Now, India-Canada relationship is almost at a breaking point with India calling its diplomats back from Canada. And uh, you can understand the reasons why uh, Canada is allying, uh, is actually uh, saying that India is behind the killing of the terrorist Niger and uh, when India asks for evidence, there is no evidence that they are not providing any concrete evidence uh, at all. So, uh, the relationship are not very good and definitely India has to care about the safety of uh, its diplomats, its citizens there in Canada. So, they have been called back. But now, going back to the problem whole issue, why whole issue because canada is providing safe havens for these terrorists and these khalistani terrorists you can measure or gauge the things that the sikh community is living very peacefully in india but people who claim themselves to be Sikhs or they are Sikh, whatever they are, but they are Khalistani terrorists. They are living a, you know, another kind of life there in Canada and they are using it as a safe haven. So these terrorists are doing anti-India activities from uh, the safe haven there in Canada. Whereas our Sikh brothers and sisters in India, they are very patriotic, they are living very peacefully and they are very much mixed and merged in the political spectrum of India. So, why Canada is allowing these things? I'll say that uh, this is the old playbook of Anglo-Saxon Empire and uh, let it be Canada, let it be Great Britain, even United States of America, they are all the part of that empire that club together. So, they actually uh, try to stress some problem or another in the global south community or the global south countries you look start from the you look from the start of the trouble in the indian subcontinent uh, from the division of bengal on uh, religious lines then uh, partition of india even make creation of pakistan then all these sikh issues uh, or be, be better call it khalistani issues then Kashmir issue. So they have actually provided safe havens for all these people uh, who they are doing all anti-India activities on name of freedom of speech and expression. And uh, right now you can see that Canada is harboring all kind of uh, all kinds of these uh, extremist elements who are working against India. Who can forget that? Uh, uh, they were they uh, they actually publicly displayed a uh, effigy in which uh, one of uh, the the bodyguard of Mrs. Indira Gandhi, former Prime Minister of India, was shooting her. So these kind of things on the name of uh, of freedom of expression and speech is being uh, going on in Canada, and uh, they want the balkanization of the global south. Uh, you look, let it be. Asia, let it be Middle East, let it be African countries. The, there are problems which has been inorganically created by these Western powers and they try to do all these things on the name of human rights and all these things. But where are the human rights when there is a talk about Gaza, they won't call it because uh, human right comes into picture when they have to oppose or they have to cause trouble in some country which is not very much aligned to them or not 100% aligned to them and is showing some kind of autonomy in its foreign policy and free foreign policy. So they are trying to arm twist India but they forget that this is India, this is not some African country or not Middle Eastern countries where they display the full breadth of their military. First they use it on the name of democracy then they go for freedom of speech and expression and they ignite the people and bring them the bring the crowds on the street and then they send their military power this cannot happen in india so forget that all those things mr trudeau and uh, this is the same canada na, who talks about freedom of speech and expression and human rights when their own canadian truck drivers were protesting against their government decisions they imposed emergency in the country so all this is shame uh, this is they, sh they should be ashamed of themselves and uh, their lies and rhetorics has been exposed and they are going to fail back again and whosoever is saying that uh, 
by doing all these things justin trudeau want to get some liberal votes forget it this is nothing to do with liberals or conservatives this is the old imperial playbook gone those days of imperialism you can't subjugate india you can't unprecedented india